Welcome everybody to Strengthening, Healing, and Connecting Through Our Core. My name is Kat Thomas, and we are about to begin expressive yoga. So if everybody wants to come up onto their mat, we're going to start in a standing position today. So I want you to just really kind of ground the heels in first, and then just rock up and back, feeling the balls of the feet and then the heels. And then when you finally feel that nice connected rhythm, just drop the heels. Let's slightly touch the big toes, let the heels spread out slightly. You can feel the thighs come together and engage. The pelvic floor, you can lift that up. Or if you want to imagine that you have some really tight pants on and you're trying to zip the, uh, the zipper, that also is that same connection. We're going to inhale, reach those arms up and overhead and exhale, slowly let them float down. Inhale, bring the shoulders up to the earlobes, roll them back and exhale, release. And from here, the palms come up, lift the gaze straight ahead of you. And just take a moment to look around wherever you are. Maybe a smile as you remember just how fortunate you truly are here in this space as it gives you shelter and protection. And when you find that gratitude, gently close the eyes. And we're going to seal the lips here, beginning with our Ujjayi breath, just gently breathing in through the nostril. And exhale back through the nose. So for anybody not familiar with Ujjayi breath, as you keep your eyes closed, just imagine that you've got a mirror in front of your face. And you really want to put some steam on that mirror so you can write a little love note to yourself saying you are beautiful. When you open your eyes, you can see that. So you're going to really create a nice, strong, steamy exhalation through the nose. And you might even hear a nice sound in the back of your throat, kind of like a little wind bath for your thyroid. And as your focus is on that breath and whatever you want to write to yourself, begin to allow the muscles in the face to soften and relax. And now traveling down to your feet, bring your awareness to the bottoms of the feet, rooted down, you can wiggle the toes and then place them if you can one at a time back onto the mat. Traveling up the shins, the hamstrings, and then let's focus on those beautiful kneecaps. Yes. Breathe a little bit of gratitude and love for them. Strong and supportive. We would just flop over right now every time we try to walk or move. And then through the thighs. And then let's find our gaze as we place our right hand and then our left over our bellies. And then let's let the lips part gentle as we feel the gentle rise and fall of our belly as we inhale and exhale. Make sure you're not lifting the shoulders up, let them drop. Feeling the belly fill like a balloon and then release. Bring your hands together, palms touching in front of your heart center. 
Feel that heat and energy between the hands. The soft, gentle touch that can be so strong and loving. And bring your attention and awareness to the space between the eyes. Let's focus today on a beautiful green light. Let it start small, slowly spinning in this space. With each inhale, it grows brighter. And with each exhalation, it spins just a little faster. As it fills each cell of your face, radiating out from you, giving love and warmth to the rest of our planet. Perhaps that feeling brings a smile to the face. Whatever comes, let it be breathed in and release it on the exhale. Now bring the right hand gently over the heart, followed by the left. Breathe deeply in and let that sigh as you release any unserving tension, thoughts or energies out. Mother Earth knows what to do. She'll recycle and make new. Allowing that green bright light of warmth and love to travel into this heart center. Whenever you feel a challenging emotion or energy during your practice today, remember this space, remember this feeling, hands over heart, green warmth and love traveling in your heart center. And now allow it to flood throughout the full body as you release the arms, hands come down to your sides. Maybe a little tingle in the fingertips as you acknowledge your presence. And here, taking a deep breath in, set your intention for the practice for the day. And when you're ready to share that intention, gently open your eyes. Once again, gaze before you, honor your space. Let's inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, palms come together, slight back bend. Exhale, draw them down to your heart center, gaze upon the fingertips. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, spread the arms out, drop those shoulders, gaze goes up. And while we're here, turn the pinkies in. And we're just gonna slowly start sinking down into your chair pose. As low as you can go. Now, if you want to just take a quick peek, you want to make sure as you're in your chair pose that your knees are equally, you don't want one coming out in front of the other. Toes are slightly touching, heels are gently apart. Draw the navel in. Let's keep with the Ujjayi breath. Sink a little lower if you can.
And while you're here, try and lift those little piggy toes off the mat. Make sure that you're rooted down in heel and the ball of the foot. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in as you exhale, rise, standing tall once again, palms come together, and exhale, swan dive slowly down, forward fold. Really feeling yourself warming that beautiful spine up, let the head drop low. You can have a slight bend of the knees here. And slight bend, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead again. Palms now come together and slowly start to move into chair as you draw the hands down towards the heart center. And we're gonna stop here, and we're gonna turn the body to our left side, and then sink and then twist that right elbow just above the left knee. Again, check the placement and alignment of your knees, and let's steam this out. Bring the heart center and the palms close to one another. Gaze up and over that left shoulder. As you inhale, really feel your belly filling up. Sink a little further if you can. Two more breaths. And one more deep breath in. As you inhale, gently turn towards the center. Palms are still up and to your heart. Holding here, sink a little lower. Lift one heel up at a time. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you drop. One more breath on each side. And exhale, forward fold, drop the head. Maybe give it a little shake side to side. Draw that navel in, play bend in the knees, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead again, palms come together. And exhale, slowly start to lower the hands as you lower the body. Come down into your chair. And then turn and twist. Clean out the breath. Check your knees. Gaze up and over the right shoulder. Clean out the breath. One more deep inhalation and exhale. Inhale slowly as you come towards the front forward fold. And gently place the palms down, fingertips facing forward. Keep the head dropped as you walk the feet out. You can go wide, keep them just to the edges of the mat, honor your edge. And then lift the head up, nice flat back. If you've got your blocks, you can use those for support. 
Keep the navel drawn in. Let's inhale. We're going to bring that right hand just in front of that left foot. Try and drop that palm down. Inhale, extend that left arm sky high, reach the gaze upward. Steam out the breath here. Twist through the toxins in your digestion. Two more breaths. On your next exhale, slowly bring that arm down. Walk across to the right foot. Left palm comes down and inhale. Extend that right arm up. Gaze comes up to that right middle finger. Steam out the breath. Just warming up the body, getting a little more blood and oxygen. Two more breaths. And deep breath in as you exhale, bring that arm back down. Palms come down, draw them in towards the body, draw off the head. Elbows come 90 degrees, and you're almost trying to bring the hands just underneath the heart center, opening up that back lower spine. If you want to come in your head stand, go ahead. And inhale, walk the hands back out. Forward fold, flat back. Smooth out through one more breath here. And we're just gonna walk the hands to the left side. We're gonna pivot, come up to the ball of that back foot. We're gonna lunge into the left knee. So just find your balance here, adjust as needed. If you're using your props, go ahead and place them on either side of your foot. Draw the navel in, but inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Place the hands just behind the neck, and exhale, slowly lower down. So this takes a lot of your balance here. We're going to keep that back leg nice and strong and tall. Really slow, powerful movement. And you can use that heart opening breath like HA. Two more breaths. Control the movement. Keep the elbows wide. And inhale, come back to your center. Exhale, spread those arms out and swing them back like you're taking flight. So you're going to reach the crown of your head forward. Chest is lifted. Fingers are spread, palms facing in. Scissor those thighs in towards one another. A little smile here. If you're shaking, you are truly alive. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in and exhale. Drop those palms. Left comes back to meet the right. Join me in plank. That should feel real good right now. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Comes up to a downward facing dog. Let's stretch that spine up, push off with the hands, spread the fingers, draw the navel in. Inhale as you reach the gaze forward, 
Lift that right leg, exhale, draw it between the hands, come into your high lunge. Find your balance here. Really ground that heel in. Make sure that front knee isn't over the big toe. High up on the ball of that left foot. Inhale, reach those wings up. Palms come behind the neck. Keep those shoulders out and back down the spine. Elbows wide. Heart opening as we inhale, lift the body and exhale, bring it down towards the leg. Slow and strong, left leg nice and high. Two more breaths. Come back to center, smooth down the spine as you extend those arms and exhale, take flight. Send the crown of the head forward, those arms going back. Beautiful. Two more breaths. Almost there. And one more deep breath. Exhale. Drop the palms. Right comes back to meet the left. Yeah, that feels good. Keep the navel drawn in here. Bring the heart center forward just a bit. Woo. Lower down to Chaturanga. Roll the shoulders up. And exhale, come back to downward dog. And time to walk the dog. Let's paddle those feet in, drawing one knee in towards the center at a time. Slow and steady, one breath through each movement. Gaze comes up and under the arms. And come back to center. Let's inhale, come up on the tippy toes. Bring the heart center up and over the fingertips. Hold it here. Yeah, feeling good, huh? All right, so we're gonna inhale, just reach that gaze slightly forward here. We're just gonna bring that left knee towards the right elbow. You want to point that toe. We're just going to twist a little bit back and forth. So you're going to bring it towards the right elbow and then back up towards the left. Rocking side to side. Now if you want to do this a little faster, go ahead. Keep the breath through each movement. Nice strong tripods with the arms, equal balance. Three more breaths. And one more. Nice big twist. And come back, three-legged dog. Stretch that left leg sky high. Adjust as needed, drop that right foot. Point those toes. And exhale, drop that leg, bring that knee in, drop it to the mat, bring the right in and come back on your sit bones. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead and exhale, come back to tabletop, curl the toes under, hips go sky high, join me again, downward dog. Push off the mat. We're going to protract here. We don't want to let ourselves dip in. Protect those shoulders. And while you're here, I just want to take your right hand. You're going to reach towards your left ankle, wherever you can get it, and just take gentle hold. Reach the gaze up and under the left arm.
Use that ujjayi breath. Control your heartbeat. On the next inhale, gaze comes forward, exhale, draw the palm back down, drop the head. Inhale as you exhale, bring that left hand towards the right foot. Gaze up and under the right arm. That front hand nice and strong and flat, pushing, lifting those hips sky high still. Nice little smile, maybe on the face. Hey. I'm already thinking about what I'm going to eat today. Hmm. Not such a yogi thought, is it now? Two more breaths. And inhale, gaze comes forward. Exhale, drop that left palm. Let's come down on the forearms first. Drop the knees and come into child's pose. Stretch those arms out all the way in front. Come up on the tippy toes. Stretch out the shoulders. <sighs> yeah. And drop the hands. Bring the arms back to your side. Stretch them out behind you now. Back to the hands on the mat. Palms facing the ceiling. My little arms are wiggly, like they're their own little beings. I got a little shaky shake going on. I like it. And inhale as you place the palms down, shoulders distance apart, come back to tabletop. Curl those cute feet and lift the hips sky high. Get yourself balanced and ready. Push off from the hands, spread the fingertips. Inhale, come up on your tippy toes. Rock the body over into plank. Gaze slightly forward, navel drawn in. Inhale as you exhale, draw the left, excuse me, the right knee to the left shoulder. Equal balance on those tripods and start to twist if you'd like. Alternating between elbows, use that breath, point the toe. Almost there. Keep those hands flat. Three more breaths. And one more. Woohoo! Come back to center. Inhale. Stretch that right leg sky high. Point the toe. Drop the heel of the left foot. Woo! And exhale. Bring that foot down. Inhale. Reach the gaze forward. Come up, walking on your fingertips to the hands, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, palms together. Exhale, draw it down to your heart center, Tadasana or Mountain Pose. You can close the eyes here. Wiggle the, feet, the little toes and then connect them to the earth. Oh, maybe sighs release. Feeling grateful that your body just helped you do all of that. <sighs> now seal the lips. Let's bring that oceanic current of the breath back to smooth and slow. Use the breath. And gently open the eyes. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Let's hold them here for a minute. Drop the shoulders. Send them back down through the spine. Let's once again stretch those legs out. 
And here, let's just do a little 45 degree angle. Let's swing the wings back behind us. Clasp the hands. Now, while your hands are clasped, you want to try and maintain the connection of the palms. That helps you not hurt your shoulders. So we're going to inhale, elongate through the spine, and exhale, slowly come into your forward fold, stopping here. Nice flat back, gaze down to the mat or the floor. Draw the navel in, and you can hold there if you want. You can start coming down, full forward fold. You can bring those arms up and over the body if you choose. Three more breaths. And one more deep breath. As you exhale, release the arms down. Wiggle them, shake them out, roll out the shoulders back and forth. <sighs> And then placing the hands down on the mat for support, come back to a nice flat back. We're actually gonna turn that left foot towards the other side of the wall. And we're just gonna walk ourselves over as we start to bend 90 degrees into that leg. All right, so we're gonna set ourselves up for the right positioning here of our warrior one. So warrior one, your right foot now is gonna start turning in the other way, but 45 degrees. Your heel is on the inside, just towards the middle in alignment of that back foot. You're gonna start bringing the hands around, squaring the hips towards the front. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead, straight above. They can float out slightly, taking turning inward. Sink a little further into your lunge. Draw the navel in. That back foot, you want it flat on both the outside and the inside. No rolling in towards the front. And sink a little lower if you can. Let's use that Ujjayi breath. Three more breaths. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, straighten that front leg. Hands are still lifted. You come up to a nice, strong, tall position. And inhale, elongate through the spine. Exhale, come up and over. So if you're using your blocks, make sure you have them ready. If not, you're going to bring both palms down, spread the fingers, and drop the head. Again, honor your edge. If you need a slight bend in the knees, that's fine. If you want your props here, that's fine too. If you want to keep one of your hands on your waist, go ahead and do it. Drop that head wherever you are. Draw the navel in. Two more breaths. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, again, slowly start to bend into that left knee. Curl that back foot, soften to the knee, soften to the back of the foot. So let's just walk that left foot over towards the edge of the mat. You can extend that right foot back behind you as much as you'd like. If you want, hang here. For those that want to come down onto your forearms, go ahead and do so. Reach the gaze forward. Again, if you want to add like a little pillow here, you can put your elbows down, make little pillows with your fists. Give yourself a little more support or just hang here. If you want to open up, feel the stretch here in your right thigh. Open up the hip on the left side.
Two more breaths. One more deep breath wherever you are. Square yourself back to center. And we're gonna place that right hand down. If you have your block, go ahead and place it on that. Inhale, reach that left arm sky high and slowly bring it down. You're just gonna use it to gently press the inside of that left thigh, rolling onto the outer edge of your left foot. It comes up and over the left shoulder. So no pressing anywhere on the side of the knee or the actual patella, the cap of the knee. You're just on the upper side, probably about four to six inches above that space. Still using our Ujjayi breath, keeping that slow, beautiful ocean current. Two more breaths. And exhale as you drop that left foot down again. Left hand comes back down on the mat. Square yourself towards the front. Curl that right foot up, lift the body, and bring that left back to meet the right. Take a deep breath here and exhale. Chaturanga, move through your vinyasa back to downward dog. <sighs> Beautiful. And inhale, you can walk or float the feet forward between the hands, forward fold. Roll out the wrists. Slight bend in the knees, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Palms come together. Let's walk the feet out once again, as wide as you'd like, 45 degrees. Let's bring our hands together. Let's bring those palms together. Create a little firelight and energy. Feel that heat. Woo! When they're really warm and you know that there's a healing bright energy of heat, bring them back to the lower back, place them on your kidneys and draw the elbows back to try and kiss. Keep a nice straight back, crown of the head floating upwards. And slowly start as you exhale, forward fold. And stop here, nice flat back. Let those elbows come back down towards the center. So now the backs of the hands are helping press them forward. And release the hands down, drop the head, forward fold. <sighs> and from here, we're just gonna start walking ourselves over to the right side. We're gonna turn that right foot out, bring that left foot 45 degrees the opposite way. Make sure your alignment is there. Square the shoulders and the hips towards the front. As you exhale, start sinking into a lunge. Knee comes to 90 degrees. When you're ready, engage your core. Inhale, lift the arms, come into warrior one. Take these turning in, gaze upward. Spread those beautiful wings out. For those of you that know, I don't sink too far into this, just do to my hips. Honor your own edge wherever you are. If you're lifting your shoulders, make sure to drop them down. That should feel so much better. Two more breaths. And exhale, palms come together, straighten that front leg. And slowly start to bring the body down. 
If you need to separate the hands, go ahead. If you can come all the way down, bring it like this. Remember, use your block if you need to or want to. Follow the breath in through the nose and exhale, release. Maybe remember that great feeling you had, focusing on the heart center. Feel that green, loving, warming energy. Two more breaths. And inhale, as you exhale, turn that left foot up and slowly sink back into the lunge. Soften to that left knee, soften to the back of the foot and just walk that right foot over to the edge of the mat. Again, find your edge here. If you wanna use your props, go ahead and use them. If you wanna come all the way down on your forearms, go ahead and use those. Adjust as needed. And while you're here, just make sure you're not rolling off that back knee in the shin. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in and wherever you were, come back up, palms are flat. We're just gonna take that left palm, move it towards the center. Inhale, reach that right arm sky high. And again, honor where you'd like to be. We can roll that right foot over slightly, sending that right leg out to the other wall. You can gently guide with that right hand. Just make sure you're not touching the knee. Reach the gaze up and over the right shoulder. Open that heart up by rolling the shoulder back. Let the breath guide you, breathing in through the nose. Exhale, release. Two more breaths. One more deep breath as you exhale. Drop that right foot back on the mat. Right hand comes beside the left. Curl that back foot and draw the right back to meet the left. Smooth out the spine through one breath. And then exhale, chaturanga, move through your vinyasa and come back to downward dog. Woo! You can walk your dog out if you'd like. Stretch that spine a little more. and come back to center. Let's inhale, reach the gaze forward, walk or float the feet between the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway raise, exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, slight bend in the knees, lift the arms up and overhead, slight back bend, hands come down to your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, swan dive back down. Forward fold, halfway raise, exhale, drop the hands. You're gonna walk or jump the feet back to a low plank. And just place that right foot angle over the left, holding here, really keep the navel engaged. And come up to high plank, lift that right leg sky high, bend the knee. Drop it up and over to the left side. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale as you straighten that leg and exhale, bring it forward. Drop that knee between the thumbs. Soften to the back knee, the back of the foot. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, extend through the crown and come down forehead just above that right knee. Spread those hands out in front of you. <sighs> You can gently rock side to side, just opening up that right hip a little more. Just make sure again you're not rolling off that left knee. <sighs> Bring the hands back either side of the face. Inhale, lift the heart center up, curl that back foot and come back into high plank, low plank. Bring that left ankle on top of the right. Hold here, you're doing good. Lift a high plank. Inhale as you lift that left leg sky high, drop the heel of the right foot, and then dropping it over to the right side. Gaze comes up and under that left arm. Smile. <laughs> and inhale, straighten that leg first. Exhale, swing it through the thumbs and the knee meets. Soften to the back knee, the back of the foot. Inhale as you engage the core, lift the arms up and exhale slowly, carefully. Drop the body down, forehead comes above that left knee, stretch those arms out. <sighs> Again, you can wiggle side to side, gentle. Two more breaths. And next inhale, bring the hands to the other side of the face. Inhale, lift the heart center up. Now square yourself towards the center. As you inhale, bring that right knee to meet the left. Come back on the sit bones. Sitting up straight and tall. Let that spine smooth out for a few breaths. And let's cross the ankles behind us and come rolling over to an easy seated posture. And just placing your hands gently on your knees. We're going to exhale as we bring the heart center up. Gaze comes up. Inhale, we're going to draw the body back, trying to bring that sacrum or lower spine down to the mat. Curl the chin in towards the chest. And exhale, lift the body up. Keep those sit bones rooted into the mat. Inhale, breathing deep here, and exhale, release. And two more breaths, slow and steady. And come back to center. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Bring the ankles up. Roll out the ankles. Release to the other side. Come back to an easy seated posture. 
Inhale through the center and exhale, drop the fingertips to the right side. Just a slight little bend. Take a deep breath here and inhale back through the center. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead and exhale, drop those fingertips to the left side. And inhale back through the center. If you've got a block or a prop, go ahead and place that in front of you. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead and elongate, extend the body forward fold. If you don't have a block, you would like one. You can always put your elbows down on the floor, make those pillows with your fists, protect that spine and your neck. Important here, you really wanna make sure that you're rooted down, you're not lifting the sit bones off the mat. So if you're just here, go ahead and hang out here. As long as you're breathing, Some days you just want to hang out here and it's okay. Feel that belly rise and fall as you take a deep breath in and exhale, release. Three more breaths. One more deep breath in as you exhale, drop the hands, walk them back in towards the body. Roll the shoulders up and back. One more time. And then roll them forward. One more time through. Inhale, bring the knees back together. Uncross the ankles, point the toes. You can drop the feet, extend that right leg out, flex the toe, and we're just going to bring that left leg in. You're going to thread the arm up and under, so it's in that nice little nook here between the knee and the lower leg where the elbow and the uh, upper arm connect, and you're just going to rock side to side with this arm. Sit up straight and tall like there's a little string of light pulling you up from the crown of the head. Keep that front foot flexed. My cat's looking at me like I'm crazier than normal. You try and do this. <laughs> For those that are a little more flexible, you know where you can go with this. Or if you want, you can always extend that leg and stretch it this way. Remember, keep yourself nice and strong and tall. And gently drop that left foot flat on the outside of that right knee. And just give yourself a nice little hug. Keep the breath coming in gently through the nose. You can have the lips parted here if you'd like. And let's try and do a little something together. Let's start swinging that, and you can use your hands as balance. Let's swing that uh, right foot back behind us. Try and keep that front foot nice and flat on the mat. Keep yourself elongated. You should feel a nice stretch now through the hips. Yeah. For those that want to come into a full cow, go ahead and do that by dropping that front knee just on top of the left knee. These feet come perpendicular to the back wall. Again, elongating the spine and keeping your breath flowing. Wherever you are, you can massage one of your feet if they're open. Two more breaths. And let's peel ourselves out wherever we are by extending that left leg out straight in front. Ooh, 
Yeah, that feels good. Flex that foot, carefully come out of this. Reset the sit bones if you have to. You can peel that flush away from them to do so. And let's bring that right knee in towards the body. Give it a nice big squeeze. Point and flex. And let's bring it as we thread that arm underneath, giving a little bit of support. And let's just rock it side to side. Remember, keep that left foot flexed. Elongate the spine. Again, if you want to extend, send it up towards the ceiling. You can use your peace fingers if you feel good. I feel good, obviously. And on your next exhale, gently drop that right foot on the outside of the left leg. Plant that foot down and give yourself a nice big hug. Really bring that spine to a nice straight elongated position. And take a deep breath in and release. And carefully, slowly, if you'd like, start swinging that left leg back around. If you want, keep that front foot flat on the mat and just hold here, elongating, bringing the heart center forward. If you feel like you wanna add a little more spice, just drop that right knee on top of the left, straighten those feet and lift the heart center up, crown goes towards the ceiling. Two more breaths. And as you exhale, gently peel that foot out. Extend both legs out in front of you. And just shake them out. Again, reset if you need to. Put those sit bones in. Spread the legs out. And flex the toes. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead again. Extend, elongate as you drop down, forward fold. Find your support if you want it. Two more breaths. And exhale, walk the hands and the body back up, nice and strong and tall. Roll the shoulders back. And bring those beautiful legs back together. Give them a little shake here. And inhale, reach those wings out. So bring the right arm up, and we're going to bring that left arm back behind us, reaching up, reaching up the spine, and exhale, drop. See if you can try and touch the fingertips. If you want to bind, take the bind. Try and keep those front feet flexed.
And one more deep breath in as you exhale, gently release. Shake the arm out. And inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Let's bring that right arm, swing it back behind us. Start walking those fingers up the spine. Exhale, drop the left arm. Fingertips trying to kiss. Binders, take your binds. Straighten that body up, flex those front feet. Keep the breath flowing. One more deep breath in, almost. And exhale, release, stretch those wings out. And give yourself a nice big hug. Wrap them around the body. <sighs> yeah. And just come to the edge of your mat a little bit if you're in the center. Bring the feet down on the floor. And let's just slowly connect one vertebrae at a time as you roll back, bring the knees up 90 degrees. And giving yourself a big hug still. Let's just rock side to side. Massage the kidneys, the lower back. Now spread those wings out, palms facing down. Stretch that right leg out all the way, pointing the toe. Exhale, drop that left knee down to the right side. Gaze stays to the left side. If this is a little too much, don't go all the way over or just keep both knees together and drop them to that side. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, you're gonna slowly, gently bring that left knee back to center. Inhale, exhale, draw that right knee to meet. Give them a nice big kiss as they come in towards the heart. On your next exhale, extend that left leg out, point the toe. Inhale as you exhale, extend those wings and drop the right knee towards the left side. Gaze now goes over to the right hand. Keep those shoulders down on the mat. Two more breaths. And inhale, gently bring that right knee back to center. Left meets the right. Give yourself a big squeeze here. Roll the lower back out. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Release, bring those knees up and back to 90 degrees. We're gonna point the toes. Inhale as you bring those arms up, fingertips spread, palms facing one another. And exhale, just lift the shoulders a little bit off the mat and just pulse up. Remember to keep the breath flowing. You're almost finished here. Eight more breaths. Almost there. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in, hold it here. Draw the knees in and relax the shoulders back down. Back side to side once again. Ah. 
<sighs> bring those arms down to your sides and carefully keep that lower back engaged. Slowly bring the toes down to the mat. Release. And when you're ready, <sighs> surrender to Mother Earth. Let the arms float out, adjust as needed as you find your comfort and security on the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, sighs and release again, breathing through the nose. And exhale, one more time. Gently close the eyes. Softening the breath, softening the face. As you release and relax, Feeling the energy and hope filling each cell of your body and this warm, glowing, bright green energy travels through the nose. And as you exhale, the body sends relief and gratitude out to the planet. No effort, no thought, a natural ebb and flow. Let's bring our attention to our heart. And as you breathe in green, warm, loving energy, Remember a time when somebody offered you help and guidance when you least expected it and how it shifted your whole world. Let that feeling flood throughout that whole area. And as you exhale, release that feeling to the world. Now bring your attention to that green, warm, loving energy entering through the nostrils. As you pause, the gratitude is then released. And with that feeling in your body filled with this love, come back as mind, body, and spirit reconnect on the mat. Wiggle fingertips and toes. Gather your collection of mind and spirit as you hear them saying, may you be happy, may you be well, may you be safe, may you be at peace. The body accepts and acknowledges this as it rolls gently over onto one side. And you give your body a warm, gentle embrace. Each cell now confident and full of love. For you are all there is, and all there is, is love. Mm 
And when you're ready to share that love, rise gently in an easy seated posture as we seal your intentions and this practice with three resonating ohms. Taking a deep breath in. families, our jobs, our friends, I ask that we are blessed in peace, harmony, blister, and light. Namaste.